I'm drinking Sprite Zero as I make videos for Androidnica.com. This is not a product placement. What's up, guys? This is Andrew from Androidnica.com, giving you our weekly recap of what's new and what's worth looking at in the Android market. First app we're going to take a look at is Orbits.com. Now, if you've ever traveled, I'm sure you're familiar with Orbits. You need a hotel, you need a flight, you need a car, you just look it up really quick. All I have to do is enter the city and the dates that I plan to travel, and it'll help me book my hotel, help me find the cheapest flight, and everything that you get online is available here. You get the Orbits guarantee, uh, you get help if you need it, you can uh, order directly within the app. And the cool thing about it is once you've ordered everything, you can track it with my trips or you can see your flight status if you're in the airport or you're on the way to the airport and you just want to double check. It's available now for free in the Android market. So if you travel a lot, this is probably something you're going to want to have on your phone. All right, listen up to all you people that have ran to Twitter or Twicker, Seismic or whatever. You might want to go back and check out Tweedroid Pro again. You know, this used to be the only decent Android Twitter app, and they're coming out with some cool things that may, may make you want to switch back. First of all, they've made a lot of bug fixes, and they've added a couple cool features like nearby tweets. So when I press the, the more button... I can see what people in my area are talking about. So I'm going to see a lot of Miami tweets and I say, oh, okay, what's this person saying? I'm going to click on Lavin Lane, Miami, or Lavinia, Miami. And I see this profile and I say, do I want to follow this person? Maybe not, maybe later. But let's say you are looking for people to follow. Once again, press more suggested users this is going to give you a list of people that you may want to follow depending on the category so when i click technology it says anil dash kara swisher i'm already following these people but hey i'm not following david pogue maybe i should be so i'm going to press follow because they told me to and that's pretty cool but let's say you want even more control over who you follow and you let's say right now i'm following uh Bored at work, you know, cool people, a lot of funny things about tech, entertainment, and they'd say some good things, but maybe he's watching the game, and he's talking about a game I'm not interested in, and he's tweeting a lot. I'm going to do what's called muting him. I just go to his profile, press mute. I can send him a notification if I want, but that's kind of a dick move, so I'm not going to do that, and I'm just going to set for how long? 30 minutes? Maybe a week? No, let's just do one hour. So until this game is over, I'm not going to see any tweets from board at work. I don't want to unfollow him. Cause you know, he's 90% of the time he has great tweets, but that 10%, I don't want to hear anything from you at the moment. You know, this is just an example, no offense to the people and you'll see muted until 10 7 PM. So now I know I'm not going to see anything from him, but I don't have to unfollow him or worry about following him later. This is a really cool feature. So to all you people who are still choosing your, uh, Android Twitter app, your favorite ones. Don't forget that Tweedroid is out there. It's available for free with ads. You know, they just made the change or you can just buy the pro version and get uh, no ads at all for $2.99 or $3.99, I should say. This is Andrew from Majornica.com saying, yeah. My tap two is an app similar to Pulse because it lets you read your social feeds and your RSS feeds. Now let's say you're on Facebook or Twitter and you just wanna browse through it. You go through and you see something you like, say, no, I don't wanna watch that. But uh, let's say you wanna follow the news and you click on this, it gives you a quick little snippet of that article and from there I can uh, save it, I can share it with friends using the Android share feature and I say, no, I don't wanna do that or I can view it in the browser. That's the one problem I have with this app Everything is done within the browser, but if you just need something that looks good to discover apps or I mean discover articles, I should say, this can be a pretty cool way of doing it. It's kind of like little cards that you, you browse and you see something that interests you and you click it. And then if you want more information, you view in the browser. Now you can customize this. You can click on add and you can get suggested channels. Let's say you're, you're into MLS soccer. You can click that. You can click women issues 
you can browse by topic or you can search for something or you can do social like I said Facebook LinkedIn Twitter there's also an app that you can have for this app and it'll show you the latest information from all of the selected feeds you can customize what appears in here uh, it's not the best solution in the world but it's a pretty good looking one and it might meet your needs if you just want to discover links and then don't mind opening them in the browser it's called my tap to and it's available for free in the Android market You may have noticed on my home screen I have the words Andronica.com rocks and of course it does but what you might not know is this is not part of the wallpaper it's actually a widget that I have called text widget and I can move that around and I can do cool stuff like this I can just tap it to change it you know maybe I just want to have it say Andronica.com so if you want to put a little reminder to yourself or you have a phrase that you like to put on your home screen you know use your girlfriend's phone and tell her you love her you know that never hurts you can do that you can change the font color uh, right now it's set to white I'm gonna put it on yellow I can change the opacity which is whether it's gonna be see-through or solid I can change the family the style I'm gonna make this bold instead of italic and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna change the background settings now for opacity the lower the number the higher I mean the more solid your background is gonna be so right now it's set to 10% I'm gonna set this to 40% so it's uh, more see-through uh, you can change the height but I'm gonna leave that alone and, or I could have changed the font size I think it's currently okay and just like that I've got Andronica.com on my home screen now you can do this pretty easily download text widget then hold down on the screen, select widgets, and you wait, and you scroll down to text widget. You click that, and then you just enter your new information, and I've got the same one that I already had before. Press back, and there it is. This is available for free in the Android market. All right, this little Android collectible I have here, uh, you know, we've been giving them out on the site. They prove that I'm a little bit geeky, but even my geekdom has never led me to play massive multiplayer online, whatever, RPG type games. This is one for Android. It's called Pocket Legends. Now, it's not going to be as complex as World of Warcraft or whatever, but you will get some things that interest you. You can go into the store and you can get potions, specials, and etc. depending on your character. You can choose what type of character you're going to play. You can join up with others, build friends, and you can play the game. Um, let me just do a couple seconds of quick regular gameplay. When I enter the world, you know, it's your typical MMO stuff. You control it over here. Oh, wait, hold on. Get rid of this door. You got your little control center right here, and you're running with your player. And you got to head over to talk to this guy. And you say, hey, man, what's going on? And then he gives you a little message and you can accept the side mission and enlist to fight the evil people and you got another guy saying hey come talk to me so I click him and says your journey as a warrior begins today and then you can choose a path and he says we've been armoring humans trying to gain access defeat four of them and come back to me all right so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go beat up four of these guys Let's go, punk. Get some. Yeah, um, my, f my phone is kind of jamming right now. It's not being very responsive. This is a beta app, so I don't know if this is because the Evo has some problems on the screen or it's just this particular game. But whatever the reason, you know, fighting... At the moment is very simple this is just the first level and you know uh, you can be a bear with a sword you can be an archer who's a, a hawk with an arrow or you can be a, like an enchantress or sorceress or whatever and you can just try your luck with this game if you're in, into MMO this is a game worth considering it's called pocket legends and it's available for free on the Android market and I am getting house right now Dang.